Hi, this is Colin with Maker Farm. In this video, we're going to show you how to put together the frame for the i3 Prusa. Um, you're going to want to gather all of your frame parts. And first, we are going to start with these pieces right here. Um, if you notice, there's a right and a left motor mount. Um, there's also four of these. The only difference with these is one of them has a set of holes in it. Those holes um, are that we so that we can uh, zip tie some wires to it to keep our cables um, all managed nicely. Um, this one is going to go on the outside edge over here, right by where our um, switch is. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to grab all of these pieces. Um, if you notice, the right and left, there's holes for the rods that are going to go towards the outside. So all we need to do is we're going to grab these triangular pieces, push them in to the bottom of those, and then they will just slot right in. And we'll do the same thing for this other side. Just like that. Um, I'm not going to put any screws in right now, um, just for time's sake, but you can see you'll put three screws up top and then two screws will go one screw on each side and you'll do that for both of these. Uh, the next part that we will get, we're going to take the frame and just kind of move it off to the side for now. Next pieces we're going to get is going to be um, our outside pieces here and we're going to go ahead and get these two plates here also. Uh, what these two plates are, these are to mount our rods. If you notice, they're identical other than this plate has four holes, this one only has two. Um, this one where it only has two, that is the outside plate. The one with four is the inside. And the reasoning behind that is it's going to hold our smooth rods here and not allow them to come out the other end. But then our threaded rods are going to go all the way through and bolt this down. Uh, so once you put those two on top of each other, then you'll see some little spots in these triangles and you will just slot right in. Same thing with your other plate. And also you notice this one has a whole bunch of holes in it. That's to mount our electronics, so that's going to go on our right hand side. Okay, so once we get those in there like that, we can stand it up. We can then get our rest of our frame that we just finished a little minute ago. And we can basically just drop it right down on top, line up the holes, we'll slot right in place. Okay, and so, so far that's what we have for our framework. Once again, I'm not going to put any screws in right now. Um, but you can go in later and put screws in. Uh, most of it is going to use three quarter inch screws. There's a couple in back, like right here, it's going to use half inch. Um, and the very last piece that we're going to do, I'm just going to lay this down so you can see it is the top. We have our top piece right here. And it's just going to slot in like that. And then once again, you can bolt it in place when you get to that point. These extra holes here, those are for our LCD mounts, okay? Then the very last thing that we're going, that we would put on, we're not gonna do it quite yet, but we have our mounts for our motor. There's two of them, just to make sure that it's nice and rigid. You notice the little legs don't align with each other, and you'll notice um, on these back two panels that you can't put them in the wrong one they'll line up perfectly. Usually I wait and I install our motor mount at the very end. The reasoning is I can go ahead and install the motor with this a little bit loose and then I can put my bolts in and tighten it up and it will tension that motor. Um, and that is the basics for putting together the frame. Um, other than putting in all the screws and uh, I'm sure you can figure out how to do that. If you have any questions feel free to go to makerfarm.com 
Um, we have our contact information there, and you can email us or use uh, Google Chat to answer any questions that you have. Thank you. Bye-bye.